Hello and uh, welcome to the final episode of my restoration project of Dr. Jekyll as Mr. Hyde. None of this will, will make very much sense to you if you haven't seen um, parts 1, 2 and 3 which are, are on YouTube. Um, but it started with uh, a kit that I bought off of eBay which was in a, a pretty poor condition. It had been quite badly made and was broken and badly painted and uh, I bought it more or less as a project to uh, to restore so as promised here's the final part that will show um, what I've achieved at the end of it um, as I said before I'm not the best model maker in the world um, this is more about showing what can be done and uh, if any of you have any ideas of uh, restoring kits yourself then hopefully this will be of help to you it shows it can be done uh, and if you have greater modeling skills than me then you may do an even better job okay so um as you remember from the early parts i first broke it down into um sub assemblies uh, and then reconstructed and repainted I kept the original makers um, um, ideas if you like of having um, both uh, a mixture of the glowing and non glowing parts I wanted to stick with that uh, I didn't see any reason to change that lots of the um, parts I had to um, prise them off of the tabletop uh, and a fair few of the parts were unsalvageable um, they just broke up too much they'd, they'd perished not just through glue but um, just simply through their age uh, so I kept what I could um, repaired other items and uh, you know hopefully um, have, have made a a good representation of a kit that would have been built in the 60s and 70s um, by a possibly a young lad that um, bought this with his pocket money I'm reasonably pleased with the result uh, it's it's far from perfect um, there's still a few gremlins if you like but I think he looks okay now and um, I think the effort was worth it it's been certainly been enjoyable and um, as I say, hopefully that some of you will, you know, at least be inspired and uh, can see what can be done. Okay, so um, once I'd disassembled it, repaired bits that I needed to, um, the floor needed a fair bit of work, the table needed an awful lot of work. Uh, I retained the mixture of uh, glowing and non-glowing and um, repainted everything. There was some filler required, quite a bit of filler required on the arms, um, where the forearms connect that is. Uh, there was a few sink holes in the arms which wasn't the fault of the original maker. That They were, um, um, you know, something that came with the kit if you like. They were sink holes that um, had been made in the manufacturing process. Um, so once it was all reassembled back together I used a bit of pyrograph work on the head to get rid of the seams there that were quite distinct on the, the hairline um, well all of the joints frankly but particularly the, the hair and the head on the neck and etc um, used the pyrograph to get uh, get those seams to disappear uh, then the um, the main body was sprayed in a light grey um, to give it a bit of uh, shade and dark. The then over sprayed with white. The table was a mixture of um, humbrol enamels of dark brown and light browns and bits of white to pick out some detail. The bottles that you see there, I, I masked them off. They were initially sprayed 
with a white mat. Then I added the, the color, the colored liquid to the bottom, masked off again, sprayed on. Then when that was completed, I sprayed, um, or, or rather before I did the colors actually, I sprayed it white gloss after the white mat. Then I sprayed the colours on and then um, I sprayed them with um, a, a gloss varnish to give them a sort of glassy look. Uh, the Munson burner and its stand I painted in um, a uh, M53 I think it is, a Humbrol metallic colour. Uh, there, were, there were two rats initially. One of them was salvageable, the, the uh, glowing one, but frankly, I, I only wanted to put one on. Um, but both of them had very bad seams apparent on them. And so I cleaned them up and uh, repainted one of them and stuck him back down. Lots of seams visible on the uh, stall, damage to the floor, lots of seams on the... Um, body lots of the parts hadn't stuck together properly and some of them had uh, been glued but then the glue had perished but anyway um by the time I'd, I'd filled it and cleaned it up sanded it scraped it repainted it um i got a reasonable finish and um as I say, it's not per he's not perfect, but I'm I'm reasonably pleased with the with the result. Uh, and as I say, hopefully you can you can get some ideas and see that something that's you know pretty much beyond the pale can be restored and can be made into a, a reasonable looking example of uh, of an early Aurora kit. Okay, well, um, please feel free to ask questions or leave any comments uh, only nice ones please I'm very sensitive only kidding um, but anyway I hope you've enjoyed this I hope it's been of use and um, thanks for watching bye for now then